What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and I hope all of you guys are having an amazing day and for today we have a 2007 Cyan XB and it's in for a 4D2 as you guys can see I already have the hood open because we're gonna be starting from the engine and as you guys saw from the previous this is more like a maintenance wash but I wanted to show you this because when I get this type of cars or these type of details, I go in and look for the smallest details so I can really make it stand out because the owners actually believed in me and say that I could really make it look a lot better. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So without any further ado, let's get detailing JC style. Alright, and before starting to detail the engine, we gotta take care of the things that we can damage with the water or be looking for some cables or wires that you can see that water might touch and harm the engine. So that will be first the alternator which is here. I'm gonna cover that and what I do, and sorry, hopefully you guys can hear me because it's a windy day today. Okay, just simple and if you also want to remove the battery you don't have to you just you gotta be really careful but just in case you want to you can also just cover it just like this or you can take it out as well but in this case just to show you guys it's gonna be covering it and everything else looks good all right, so we're ready to go, and we're gonna be using Super Clean as a degreaser, full strength. Put it all over the engine, and then agitate it with a little brush, and we're gonna be ready to go. So let's get started. And cleaning the engine bay is not really hard as you will only spend 15 to 10 minutes on cleaning it because half of the work can be done by the degreaser and just with one quick pass with a detailing brush to get into all the crevices and tight spaces you'll have a clean engine. And after rinsing everything, I try to dry the most that I can with the microfiber towel. And just for those tight spaces or what I couldn't reach, I use my vacuum, which I also can use as a blower and get all the water out the engine and then apply the UV protector. And just for those of uh, you that are insecure or think that your car won't start, let me give you a quick example. Yep, as you guys can see, the car started, everything worked. You just gotta cover the things that you need, which is the first thing, alternator, which is the one thing that I do first. And then the battery, if you wanna remove it, just cover it, or just be careful with the water. Yeah, you have a clean engine now.
and as you guys can see there was not a lot of dirty water coming out from the wheel wheels but once we started with the tires and just gave it five seconds for the solution to work on it it just changed colors immediately and then you guys are about to see how dirty they were And here you can see how efficient the first pass on that tire was as on the second one we did not get any crazy colors and that's the cue to move to the next tire. And we can't forget about the small details on the exterior so I make sure to get my detailing brush and get into the lights, grills, emblems and of course we can't forget about the gas cap as we don't want the owner to go get some gas and have this area completely dirty. And this is where I meant by looking into the smallest details because sometimes door jams are the dirtiest part of the detail because if you think about it when you wash your car or take it to a car wash you don't really wash or dry this 
most of the times they're really really dirty muddy all full of leaves so just by cleaning these it can take the detail to the next level everything we said we'd be we just traded for a suit coat and a tie And just for those of you who want to know, this is the rigid four gallon portable vacuum and this is the only one I've ever owned and that's because I've never had any problems with it and it just has the perfect amount of suction power for detailing and if you guys want to know where I got it from, I have all the links for this and all the products that I use on the videos in the description down below. Standing underneath the rows of trees I can see where the ocean meets the sky Under our clothes, the fire grows We are ready for this life of running wild Alright now here instead of using the drill brush I used a small one so I could get into the small crevices because that's where all the grime was hiding. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and also click on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos.
And now I like to show you guys the before and after of the microfiber towel just so you can see how dirty this steering wheel is even though it doesn't look like it but having a dark interior really hides all the grime and just about anything building up so this is why I like to show it so you guys can see how really dirty they are. And this is the second hardest battle that I've ever had with the stain or to remove anything on the carpet. And I'll put the link on the top right of the video of the first one and the hardest one that, I, that I've ever had. And as you guys can see here, I tried with the steamer with my solution and the extractor, not only once or twice, but more than that. And it did not want to go away, but I did it to the point that I was really satisfied with it and I couldn't really see it. We are 
dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust Search for you and as you guys can see from the water coming out of the extractor these carpets were not too dirty so with a few passes i was able to bring them back and leave them looking all clean again And now for the final touch, it's now time to rewrite the whole interior and keep it protected with the 303 Aerospace UV protectant. And the owner of this vehicle recommended me these auto magic dressing for the tires and I really liked it because it did not leave any greasy and sleeky surfaces. And now to give this vehicle a high glossy shine, I used Macquarie's Mirror Glaze, which is a wax to protect the paint, and it really helped me achieve the goals that I had for this detail. All right, and that's it for this video, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and if you did, Make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.